there are three modes when you configure your DR database or standard database there are three modes are supported one is the maximum performance maximum availability and maximum protection so what that meaning when you configure your standby your standby will be any one of this mode give me a second here right so these are the three modes those are the three types of standby database physical standby snapshot standby logical standby three types of standby database and the three modes of standby database maximum performance maximum availability and maximum protection so maximum performance i am worrying about my prod database performance not about data let i don't worry about my data at all my data loss data corruption i'm okay with that i don't need any of those data but i want my production database to be with the maximum performance that's the meaning of maximum performance maximum availability maximum protection i am worrying about data but not performance i am worrying about data but not performance i don't want to lose a single data here this availability and protection will talk about data loss and maximum performance will talk about performance of your production database not the data loss data loss i'm okay with that but i don't want to compromise on performance in case of availability and production i don't want to compromise on a single bit of data loss performance i'm okay even though database is not performing good i'm fine with that that's a simple understanding so maximum performance is a minimal data loss the redo or archive will apply from prod to dr and prod and dr will be in sync or may not be in sync that's your maximum performance maximum availability no data loss the transactions will be in sync the prod and dr is always in sync and even in maximum protection no data loss the transactions will be in sync and both prod and dr are always in sync mode so the difference between your maximum availability and maximum protection this last point here the prod will send the data to dr and dr has to send the acknowledgement back to prod right so let's say you have prod database and you built your dr database so a minimal data loss let's say user will do transaction the transactions will be performed over here and then later the transactions will be sent to dr and then the same transactions will be applied on dr so while the transactions are completed on primary site like both primary and dr are in sync both prod and dr may or may not be in sync let's say this transactions transferred to dr your prod and dr are in sync the transactions are completed on primary side but not applied not yet applied on dr side let's say in that situation your a prod got crashed so that's the data loss whatever the transactions happened on the primary side that is not applied on the dr side that's a data loss there is a minimal data loss here if both prod and dr are in sync there is no data loss if the transactions which are completed in prod which are not yet applied on the dr side that's a data loss minimal data loss you have to bear with that so in case of maximum availability and maximum protection primary you built dr and whatever the transactions are happening on the primary side the same transactions will be at the same time which will be applied on the dr side so you both prod and dr will be always in sync both prod and dr are always in sync both prod and dr are always in sync so the transactions which is completed on primary side the same transactions will be transferred and executed on the dr side and 
your dr has to send acknowledgement back to prod the same transactions are completed on my primary side on dr side so that is your a prod will send acknowledgement to dr and the dr has to send acknowledgement back is that transactions completed or not and your prod will wait for 60 second within 60 second your dr has to send acknowledgement back whether the transaction completed or not if the dr will not send acknowledgement back within 60 second automatically your dr database will get converted as a maximum performance mode so that is your maximum availability maximum availability meaning production database will wait for 60 second to get a response from the dr side whether the transaction completed or not within 60 second dr did not send a response automatically dr database will be converted from maximum availability to maximum performance mode and the other scenario your maximum availability exactly same as your maximum protection maximum availability maximum protection both are same the transactions will be applied let's say your prod database and you have dr database you have set up and end user is doing transactions and the same transactions will be applied on the dr side and your prod will send acknowledgement back to dr and dr has to send acknowledgement back to prod and your prod database will be kind of a hang prod will send a data to dr acknowledgement to dr and dr has to send the acknowledgement back to prod if the dr did not send acknowledgement prod will become hang no further transactions are continued so that is your maximum protection so what we are trying to make sure that in both maximum availability and maximum protection the transactions will be applied on prod and dr at the same time so that any disaster happens on the prod side your dr will be in sync there won't be any data loss right in case of a maximum protection both prod and dr are always in sync and prod will make sure that data is sent to dr and dr has sent acknowledgement back if the dr did not send acknowledgement back your prod database itself will hang in case of maximum availability the transactions will be applied on both prod and dr at the same time and prod will send a acknowledgement to dr dr has to send acknowledgement back to prod and prod will wait for 60 second within 60 second if the dr did not send acknowledgement back automatically dr database will be converted as a maximum performance mode where the maximum performance mode is the data loss because maximum performance mode the transactions will be first executed on the primer side later it will be transferred to dr side and whether it's applied on dr site or not we never worry about in case of maximum performance that's where your maximum performance mode where there's a minimal data loss in case of availability and production there won't be any data loss both prod and dr are in sync right any questions here three modes of your standby database right so hello yeah go ahead so minimal uh, data loss meaning uh, the moment and uh, we disconnect product and dr uh, in that time or, or it will be continuous like uh, uh, from the beginning of the month uh, i start our dr and, and stand by stand by and production whatever then, the transactions are happening here on the primary side all the transactions are shipped to your dr and upload on dr side both are in sync there's a network delay between prod and dr so whatever the like in a day prod is generating 10 transactions but due to the network bandwidth is very low between prod and dr the dr is sending only eight transactions the prod is sending only eight transactions there's a lag of two transactions so it may be from the day one there's a lag between the primary and standby due to network issue that might be one of the reason or like your transactions are happened on the primary side and there's a good network bandwidth between the primary and standby immediately the transactions whatever completing on the primary side 
immediately the transactions will be shifting to dr and then applied on the dr your both prod and dr are always on sync but the drawback here is first the transactions will complete on the primary side the user one connected to primary he completed the transaction the transactions are got completed on the primary after that that transaction has to shift to your dr while the transaction is transferring to dr your prod database crashed there is at least one data loss one transaction loss in case of your maximum performance because the transaction first completes on the primary side and later that transaction will be shifted to your dr even though your prod and dr in sync but that one single transactions you are going to lose the data loss in case of your availability and performance directly data will be transferred from primary to standby at the same time while the transactions are happening on the primary side same transactions will be happening on the dr side and in this case if the primary crash happens the transactions are already transferred to your dr and then applied on the dr so there won't be any data loss even a single bit of data loss in case of availability and protection because the transactions are simultaneous the synchronous transfer between primary and dr whereas maximum protection is a async the whatever the transaction first will apply on the primary side and after that you will send it to your dr so once it applied on the primary side will send back to acknowledgement to the user your data is saved but your data is not yet transferred to your dr in that case your primary is crashed then you are going to open your dr in read write mode in that time that transactions is not available on the dr side that's the data loss right right the maximum availability uh, the wait for the 60 seconds is correct is it configurable or else it will always it's a be configurable oh. you can set up because of the network latency sometimes we may not get acknowledgement right right it's a configurable default is 60 second so all this whatever three standby modes three standby types so this all can be configured with one single parameter by defining one single parameter you are going to define what type of a standby database what mode of a standby database so that is your log underscore archive underscore dest underscore so by defining this parameter one single parameter you're going to define what type of standby database you are going to build or what mode of your standby database you are going to build 